I'm gonna turn this cool laptop into a gaming laptop. As of right now, it gets around 30 FPS, but I wanna make her run at least 120. And at the end, I wanna compare it to an actual gaming laptop to see the FPS difference. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is add this laptop cooler as this laptop gets really hot. This will now help keep the temperature low and this will literally get me more fps so it will prevent overheating and freezing so yeah it's really good also if you enjoy my content make sure to like and subscribe if not on as it really helps so it's pretty sick i'm not gonna lie and yeah you can select the temperature and everything so hopefully this helps us get more fps all right so now i'm gonna optimize this laptop and i'll show you guys how to do it as well so basically what you want to do is go into task manager go to details and go to fauna and set priority to high make sure it's the first one and yeah this is pretty much it also make sure you have fauna open for this one all right so for this next one you need to go into task manager again and go to details again find fauna and select the middle one after that just click on set affinity and make sure to untick cpu zero this is responsible for the background apps and we want to minimize that so the CPU can focus on Fortnite. Alright, so now go into the search bar and type in this. Make sure to find Fortnite game, go to config, then go to Windows client and then open this file. All you need to do is find ray tracing and make sure that it's put on false. And also, and change this to false as well. And now you can save it and make sure to right click and then go to properties and make sure it's on read only as well. After that, just apply it and click OK and you should be good to go. Now, this next step is if you have an Intel graphics card, which probably means your laptop is pretty bad like mine. And make sure to set in maximum performance for well, both of these and apply it. After that, just go to plugged in this section. And make sure it's on uh, maximum performance as well and yeah this is pretty much it and now let's test the laptop so as you can see it's running from 110 to 120 fps which is more than i expected to be honest and yeah i'm really pleased with this so yeah as you can see it's running really smooth for such a laptop it's actually impressive like so much better and my free building is pretty good not the best but i'm decent on it so yeah, it's playable definitely playable the only major difference like between my gaming laptop and this is the refresh rate because i'm on 60 hertz right now so it's basically 60 fps if you think about it i mean it's still pretty good all right so right now i'm actually gonna be comparing it to my gaming laptop and see the fps there uh, as you can see it's literally on 240 right now i can probably like get more if i if i change the fps so yeah let's see and we're getting around 300 fps which is yeah pretty good and i'm obviously much better because i literally have zero input today the refresh rate is uh 120 hertz i'm pretty sure but yeah still we made the school laptop pretty good and uh, make sure to comment which one would you prefer but the insane thing is that we made this school laptop get 120 fps and we were literally getting 30 before so that's crazy to me anyways don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you actually enjoyed it we're getting pretty close to 50k and i really want to get it so yeah